Seriously, Kevin and I are really honored and uh, humbled to be here tonight. It's fantastic. And Rabobank and Food Tech Connect, you guys, y'all have done an amazing job. Thank you. Hey, we are True Made Foods. We're bringing back the barbecue. We're making ketchup a vegetable again. So now you've met me, you need to meet Kevin, my beautiful co-founder, Kevin. Kevin had a problem, like most of Americans. When he left the Army, he started to gain weight. He had some health problems, and his big problem, like most of America, is he didn't eat enough vegetables. Kevin hates vegetables. But luckily for him, the best thing that ever happened to him is that he married his wife, Abby. There she is. <clears throat> Abby didn't have a problem treating Kevin like he's three and hiding vegetables into his food. And one day, they stumbled onto a sauce. They made a ketchup and then a barbecue sauce that had spinach, carrots, butternut squash, healthy vegetables, and Kevin loved it. And he thought, if I eat this, anybody will eat this. Second best thing that ever happened to Kevin is he met me. Uh, we met at Techstars Patriot Boot Camp in uh, 2013. Techstars Patriot Boot Camp is a special event for veteran entrepreneurs that Techstars does. When Kevin told me about the healthy ketchup made with spinach, carrots, and butternut squash, I was floored. I immediately thought this is an amazing idea because I've been battling in my household over ketchup for years because I have a household full of ketchup eaters and I want to give them the best that I possibly can. And the great thing is that there's a lot of people like me out there. There's 10.8 million millennial households with children. 52% of them closely monitor their kids' diets and read labels. And 82% think it's important to include vegetables in every meal and every snack. And this is why there's trouble in aisle five right now. And the, food, <clears throat> the big food products are dying and losing market share. Heinz has lost market share by 8% year on year. But we have a solution for that. We have a solution for ketchup and barbecue made with spinach, carrots, butternut squash, all ugly vegetables that are pureed, cooked into our sauces, and kept from going out into waste. And that means we have the same sweetness as your average leading ketchup and half the added sugar. And all these other amazing things, vitamins A, vitamin B6, C, E, iron, potassium, we are the only ketchup you're ever going to find that has potassium and B6 in it. And our, the leading barbecue sauce, Sweet Baby Ray's, 70 calories, 16 grams per serving. Our barbecue sauce, 25 calories, eight grams of sugar per serving. Two of those grams come naturally from the carrots and the butternut squash. And that's our ingredient list. If I tried to put Sweet Baby Ray's ingredient list up here, it wouldn't fit on the slide. As you can see, we're hit something big. People are taking notice. And we moved on pretty fast. We're growing at a really breakneck rate. In 2015, we launched out of FoodX. We took a $20,000 check and we turned it to $40,000 in revenue just through grit and personal sacrifice. We, are now, we have now doubled our revenue just in the first two months of 2016 and we are on track to close 600 k in revenue. We've opened up distribution channels through Rainforest and now we just opened up Chex Finer Foods for New England. We've opened up three distribution centers with Kehi because Super Target is doing a test run with us in 50 stores. HEB is taking us on in June, and we are now the sole provider of barbecue sauce to Blue Apron. In January, we shipped 1,400 gallons of barbecue sauce to the New Jersey Blue Apron Distribution Center, and we are going to go national with them in June. We are now pitching Harris Teeter and Wagmans for late 2016-2017 growth. Here's the bad news. So, Kevin is a West Point grad, Army artillery officer. He was the uh, director of sales for High Torque Engineering before deciding to start his own food company. He ran the original tea butter company where he sold flavored butters for three years in the New York area calling and even provided flavored butter to the New York Yankees. Um, I was a naval aviator for eight years and then got my MBA at London Business School, got out and worked in the Middle East and Africa where I built uh, sustainable agriculture farms, and did other startups, uh, raising capital for small businesses, before working for Coexist and launching Coexist Coffee, where I source coffee from post-conflict areas in Africa. <clears throat> we want to bring the barbecue back, and we want to ask you, what's in your ketchup? Thank you very much, Richard Made Foods. Fantastic. Thank you, Abe. All right, guys, who wants some ketchup? With that sort of growth profile, um, 
what scalability issues are you facing in terms of trying to keep up with it? Uh, our operations are pretty efficient. We've been working very hard to create a streamlined operation center. We're moving to a larger co-packer soon in Kentucky. Uh, we have been producing solely in upstate New York, and we're going to keep that one on as well as a backup the, and for the local market. Um, <clears throat> the biggest challenge with food and scaling is actually in marketing, marketing and awareness in stores. So that's our biggest challenge, and that's where actually most of the capital that we were raising right now is going to go towards to make sure that when we get put on shelves that we keep up our turns. We have a good system right now where we get um, a high amount of repeat sales and good turns once we put in our marketing system in place. So repeating that in the new markets that we're going to because we're expanding um, up and down the East Coast. We, uh, we have a rapid growth, but we've been turning down a lot of opportunities so that we can stay regional, mostly. Um, with the exception of the test and super target and HEB, we are mainly um, moving from North Carolina to Boston and staying focused on that area um, in, in key stores so that we can focus our PR and our marketing in that area. <clears throat> What's the uh, shelf life of your product, and how does that compare to your major competitors? It's the same, actually. It's the, the scheduled process that we use is the same for any other ketchup or barbecue sauce. It's because of the, the high amount of vinegar, so the pH, and then the fact that it's cooked at 195 degrees and hot filled uh, keeps us at a two-year shelf life. So adding the extra vegetables does not affect the shelf life, just affects the nutrition, increases the, the amount of vitamins and minerals. Did you, use a, did you use a commercial kitchen for a while before you used a co-packer, or did you just go into a co-packer production? Uh, we used a commercial kitchen, and we used Kevin's kitchen, both. So combination of both before. Um, but we tried to get into a co-packer as fast as possible to move up because uh, the, the efficiencies you get, and actually the product improved because the, when you use the co-packer, the larger kettles and the system created just a smoother product all around. There is less you know, chance for chunks, things like that less waste. You mentioned that the, um, that the preservatives as for your product is the same shelf life as the other products. What is it that exactly you use for the preservatives? Well, most of these products, if you look, we, you don't have to use preservatives because you're cooked. The vinegar itself is natural. Um, and the fact that it's cooked at 195 degrees and then hot filled and sealed keeps the product fresh in that way. Uh, can you tell us a little more about your uh, margins as well as the pricing compared to the Heinz and the Sweet Baby Rays that you're going up against? Yeah, well, I mean, we're obviously more expensive at this point. We moved down. We uh, retail at five ninety nine in the New York area. Um, we're on sale right now on special on Fresh Direct, two for one or two for eight if you want to buy it. So please log on to Fresh Direct. Uh, always sell, always selling. The... Uh, <laughs> Uh, when we launch in Target, we're going to be able to price at three ninety nine, which is we think our optimum price point for our glass bottles. Because uh, and that's mainly because the distributor and the Target takes lower margins, so we're able to squeeze um, our margins through two thousand fifteen were very tight, but we're now reaching volumes where we're getting above twenty percent gross margin. And by the end of the year, if we keep our volume production up, we should be able to hit um, you know the thirty five percent gross margin that we need to be sustainable. Um, it's a, the challenge in food when you're a CPG is getting through this gap part where your, your gross margins are terrible, and they're always going to be terrible in your first year, um, <clears throat> getting to the volumes where you can start to increase your, your margins. So, with, uh, with barbecue sauce and ketchup, do you find that you are having to sell into two different distinct categories, or there, is, it, is it typically one retail buyer making the decision for both? It's the same buyer, so that's a great thing. Same with hot sauce as well. So the only challenge that we have with that, the, the great thing about it is we're selling in three different categories that have three different types of buyers. So it's almost like we have three different products, but we have an amazing economy of scale because they all use the same packaging and like 75% of the same ingredients. Um, but the, the poor thing is when you get put on the shelves, you get separated out. So, you're not, so you have to fight to try to get two to three facings for each product to be able to get better facings. So... Some, some retailers have tried putting all our products together on the shelves, and in some stores that works, some stores it doesn't. You know. The ketchup tends to be need, needs to be next to the other ketchups you know, for people to see it and be aware of it. All right, we're officially out of time. True Made Foods. Thank you. Vote for us. <laughs>